guys, in this video, we will be taking a look at Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom's Roar of Wars Triceratops by Mattel. Now, first, let's take a look at the packaging. It has a very um, similar look to every uh, Jurassic World product we have for Fallen Kingdom. We have the nice volcanic explosion in the background. We have Owen and Blue right here with the cracked Jurassic World logo. We have the gimmick of what this does and it does make the sound. Pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at the barcode if you guys wish to use it to look on BrickSeek. See if your local Walmart or Target has it in stock. All right, here is the back of the packaging. Now here are the other ones in this wave. I still need the Allosaurus, don't care too much about this one right here, don't think I'll add it to my collection, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing really different on the box, so uh, let's go ahead and take her out of the box. Alright, she's still in there, oh, here she goes. And then her tail is back here, so I'll stop. All right, so before I put her tail on, I will show you the instructions that it does come with. It tells you how to put the tail on, change the batteries, what kind of batteries she takes. All right, so let's put this tail on. Look at that in there. There you go. Easy peasy. All right. So here is the Triceratops. Got some really nice detail. Paint apps look really cool. The sculpt looks nice. And then there is the code if you guys wish to use it for the Jurassic World uh, Facts app. Here we have nice, nicely painted eyes. Oh, we got a little mark, paint mark right there. Oh, well, and we got something, little access piece of plastic. Oh well. Um, I really like the head sculpt. Really cool. The paint is cool, like I said. Articulation wise, uh, no movement in the tail, of course. Um, got the range of motion right here in the head, which is really cool. That sounds uh, a little too T-Rex for me. Uh, I've got some nice detail with the cracks and its horns. Nice faded paint look right here, which is cool. Articulation-wise in the legs, if you can move back like that, as far as I could get it. And then with the back legs, pretty cool. And then, yep, they do move outward, which is nice. Have it pop and squat. <laughs> but, uh, eh. the mold's really cool. I mean, I don't think I would have cha chain or chose this color scheme. I really like the color scheme that they did for, um, the first dress up part movie. That would be cool if they come out with a legacy collection version of the Triceratops. Um, so yeah. Let's do a uh, size comparison. So here we have the Triceratops. We have Dr. Alan Grant. And then Dr. Sattler. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
we have the Stegosaurus. Much bigger than, than the Triceratops. And then we got, I'm not doing that stupid Hasbro crap. Um, okay, move these two out of the way and I will bring in the Extreme Chomping Rex. You guys get a good look at the size of them both. this video i hope you guys uh enjoyed this short little review on the triceratops uh tell me in the comments below and what you think about it uh if you guys aren't ready subscribe to our channel please hit that subscribe button and the like button and uh thank you so much and as the camera shakes